This video is called the cost. The cost. There is a cost. Okay, so basically I'm going to talk about a, a topic that I've spoken with you to you before about energy vampires. Okay, so I recently started going to a class and uh, <clears throat> I quickly discovered, because I've always said up front, a lot of people would always gravitate to the back. But all of a sudden, the, the masses is moving up front where I am. Okay. So, uh, there was a guy that came and sat on the front row right next to me. I got a little suspicious. And then I stopped seeing him. I didn't see him anymore, but... I knew that I was still feeling tired after I left the class. So, when I left the class the other day, who's sitting smack dab behind me, quiet as a church mouse? It's him, the chief energy vampire. It's at least, um, it's about, at least about three of them in there. And I, so, once I got home, I was contemplating Okay, where should I sit? Can't sit back there because the, one of the energy vampires is there. Can't sit over there. And definitely, where am I going to sit? I say, I don't have no options because they all in the class. So, doing my Bible study, the first uh, thing, like, it happens all the time. Don't have anything in particular. So, I just randomly open the Bible and... What did it say? Jesus teaches about the cost of being a disciple. Okay? Hmm. So, the cost. Let me just read it. It's from uh, Luke 14, 25 through 34. Okay? So, this is what it says. Large crowds. Now, remember, it's really... A lot of them, you don't always have to have a large crowd to pick up somebody's energy. It could be, you could be talking to somebody on the phone to pick up their energy. Okay, but anyway, Jesus habitually had large crowds. So imagine why he had to go and replenish himself. Even like the lady that grabbed the hem of his garment. She was pulling on all of that energy. That's why he 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 felt some some of the energy drain out. He knew it was an energy vampire. He even said, somebody touched me. And they like, oh, come on. All these hundreds of people thronging us. We can't even hardly get back. And you talking about somebody touched you? Yeah, because they had pulled some, she had pulled some of his energy. He said, yeah, somebody really did touch me. So it wasn't the traditional thronging. It was somebody that snatched some of his power. Okay? So anyway, so this is, let me try to get back to it. Okay, it says, uh, G large crowds were traveling with Jesus and turning to them, he said, if anyone comes to me and does not or is not willing to leave his father, mother, wife, children, brothers and sisters, yes, even willing to lose their own life, such a person cannot be my disciple. And whosoever does not carry his cross and follow me cannot be my disciple. Okay. So, I was, you know, like I said, I was coming home trying to do some research to see how can I uh, squash all of this stealing energy. And uh, I, I had to realize that this is what the Lord was telling me. Okay, well, just go home or even once you get in the car, it's kind of like de-stressing. You're going to start thinking about positive things. Think about anything positive and just meditate on that. And then 
when you get home, you can do it on a grand scale because you're by yourself. Hopefully, the other person won't be annoying me. Uh, but I try not, I, I'm going to change that and try to think positive when I hear her trekking in the bathroom, right? I can do a countdown and bam, there she is. So I'm going to change my attitude. I'm going to stop being, being negative about the vampires, okay? Because I can always come home and de deactivate or re recharge. Now, one of the ways that I recharge, believe it or not, is getting out in nature in the sun, okay? By the way, that's why what's-his-name is literally trying to put out the sun. Look it up. I think it's called solar engineering or something like that. He's literally trying to put out the sun. And this is the same one that does the, you know, Anyway, you have to think about stuff like that. Why would he be trying to put out the sun? He knows its value to us. It can help fight off diseases. Okay, but enough of that. Anyway, back to these vampire folks. So, uh, long story short, there is a cost. There is a cost. I'm willing to pay it, okay? I'm willing to deal with these energy vampires, change my attitude. Uh, it's not going to be on to death, okay? I am going to be a martyr. I decide my death, okay? Me and God have already talked about it, so all of this planning and sending people and Drain all of our energy. It's, it's really not going to work. Because uh, I decide what, when I'm going to be a martyr. It's already pre-planned. And it ain't no time soon. So the people that's watching this video, you may as well give up. You, I'm pretty sure you will leave the earth before I do. I got a few people in mind. You're going to be gone before I am, okay? This is kind of how it works, how the Lord works with his favorite folks, okay? This wouldn't be the first time it happened, okay? This is Grandmama, also known as April. Must Jesus bear the cross alone and all the world go free? No. There's a cross for everyone. But what about the rewards? Oh, my God. I'm building. I'm building heaven on earth. Me and millions of others. We're going to set the things right side up. Righteous side up. Tired of all the chaos, the murders, or killing. Doing everything under the sun to the babies and children okay we're here to set things in order okay we'll call light workers okay so that's basically all i had to say there is a cost but i'm willing i'm willing so therefore i won't be rejected at the end of the day all right shallow one